We live in a world that is full of incredible things. If you put things into perspective, our individual existence makes no difference compared to the magnanimity of the universe, because we are so insignificant up against the thousands of epic things happening all around us every day. But that's the thing. This just means that our tiny little world isn't where it all ends. Our entire universe is basically hiding some jaw-dropping facts and you wouldn't even guess half of them. If you're as much of a curious cat as me, you must keep watching till the end of the video. There are going to be a bunch of things that I can promise you have never heard of before. Here are 12 tidbits of trivia about the Milky Way that can certifiably blow your mind. Number 1. Were you aware that the Milky Way was actually much smaller than we currently know it to be? Well, not exactly. It's just that the Milky Way used to be a three separate small galaxies in the past. Now, bear in mind that when I say the past, I'm referring to billions of years ago. These three different galaxies slowly converged to form what we know as the Milky Way today. Number 2. We are actually in constant motion. Yeah, we don't feel anything, not even the movement of the Earth, because we're actually tiny and insignificant compared to celestial bodies. Obviously, you or I are never any wiser, but we're rushing towards another galaxy that goes by the name of Andromeda. In fact, we're moving at a speed of 600 kilometers per second, which sounds insane to the average human being. But we're actually really slow compared to background radiation, or the speed of a lot of other celestial bodies as they fly past us or beyond us. Oh, and stay tuned to catch more awesome details about the Andromeda Galaxy a little further into the video. Number 3. This would be about the relationship of the universe with Greco-Roman mythology. Did you know that the Milky Way is actually a reference to a certain event involving a number of Greek gods and goddesses? It was said that Greek goddess Hera split milk across the sky while nursing her newborn baby Heracles on the way to Mount Olympus. In fact, the term galaxy itself is an allusion to the Greek expression gala, which means milk. Number 4. The Western gods are not the only ones who have a hegemony when it comes to the Milky Way. In Chinese culture, the galaxy has a very different name, the Silver River. China actually has its own body of mythology, as you'd expect from any culture, I'm sure. And according to Chinese mythology, a weaver goddess, who was responsible for sewing the stars into the fabric of the sky to dress the gods, fell in love with a mortal cowherd. The Silver River is the divide that the gods put in place to separate the divine from the commoner. Number 5. Well, to be fair, the Milky Way goes by a number of different aliases in different cultures. Take the case of the Kalahari people, for example. They refer to the galaxy with an expression that roughly translates to the backbone of the night. The ancient language of Sanskrit, again, has its very own term for the Milky Way too. It's called the Akash Ganga, which means the Ganges of the heavens. You know, it's kind of like having affectionate nicknames. Do you have any nicknames that your loved ones know you by? Do drop them down in the comments. Number 6. Our galaxy would be perfectly disc-shaped if it wasn't for our companions. Yep, we are actually graced by the presence of two dwarf galaxies that flank us from either side. They are called the Small Magellanic Cloud and the Large Magellanic Cloud. If you think about it, it's almost as if the Milky Way has two sidekicks, and together, they make up the coolest clique in a high school cafe. I mean, it's always nice to have friends in the big vast universe, isn't it? Number 7. Speaking of cafeterias, did you know our galaxy is mostly ravenous? Yeah, okay, that random statement might have startled you a bit, but hang on, because it's about to make perfect sense. So a number of smaller galaxies are often attracted by the enormous mass contained in our galaxy. They actually start off with orbiting the Milky Way. However, they're all just drawn in by the gravitational pull of the same immense mass, so they end up getting swallowed into the Milky Way. It's a real thing. Number 8. Remember the Andromeda galaxy we had mentioned a bit ago? The one that our galaxy is moving towards? Yeah, so we're actually moving towards it because, in around 4 billion years, the Milky Way will have absorbed the entire galaxy into itself. Yep, it's a major absorption event that, surprisingly, 
is not supposed to cause any massive clashes or collisions at all. It's not a doomsday theory. The individual celestial bodies of both of these galaxies will be very unlikely to actually crash into each other. More interesting is the fact that this event is actually expected to change the shape of our galaxy entirely, from disk shape to spherical. How fascinating is that? Number 9. We keep mentioning movement, but from where are we moving and where are we headed to? Well, the universe is way too huge and we know way too little for us to have a full map of even a tiny fraction of it yet. That said, our Milky Way does have a location. Where we are right now is called the KGB Void. And no, we aren't the center of the universe as many of us would probably like to believe. Number 10. So this point will be easier for you to grasp if you're already aware of what dark matter is. If you're not, it's this incredibly mysterious celestial entity that doesn't emit any radiation or waves and can't even be detected. But it very much exists. And do you know what's even more intriguing? Almost 90% of our galaxy is constituted of this dark matter. Something that we don't even know how to define perfectly yet. Number 11. Speaking of what the Milky Way consists of, the Gaia satellite has charted approximately a billion stars in the Milky Way. And I bet you're thinking, well, that sounds impressive. But hold it, because it's actually not even 1% of the total number of stars in our galaxy. And that's crazy, because the Milky Way isn't even the largest galaxy in the universe. To be fair, we don't know much about anything. But current estimates suggest that the total number of stars in our galaxy will range between 100 billion and 400 billion. Number 12. Our Milky Way galaxy has considerable mass. Well, that sounds like a bit of a no-brainer. But the fun part of it all is that we don't know its approximate weight for sure yet. It could be anything, ranging from 700 billion times to 2 trillion times the weight of our sun. What we do know is that a really small fraction of this weight, 10% to be precise, is made up of the sun and heavenly bodies. Most of it is dark matter. That was only a handful of the incredible things about our galaxy that we don't know of. There's a lot more that we could cover, so do let us know in the comments whether you'd like us to make another video like this. Also, don't forget to mention which one of these facts blew your mind the most. It's honestly insane to think about how much we don't know about the galaxy we live in. But don't worry, we'll keep bringing you videos like this one. All you need to do is leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel to remain updated every time we drop new content. That'll be all for today. Really looking forward to seeing you in the next video.